Yo, what is good? Why are the very purple? What is good, yo? Guys, 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 guys. For the war. <laughs> I have been slapped in the face and told to shut up. Shut up and sit down. Um, I straight up thought I knew what was probably to come with this show, and it looks like I am wrong at the end of the day, which is fine. Um, but with what I was saying and how things were playing out, I wasn't that far off the mark, but to think that this was the way... Oh, there's two area changes? Of course Naruto gets two area changes. Sick. Um, check out my other video to see another Naruto st uh, stage transition if you didn't know that these were even in the game. Um, but with Food War, wow, that was a lot of damage. Um, we are so blessed to see such like amazing animation for a food anime. Like, out of all things that they could have been putting their efforts into, they are putting their effort into food and making these characters look dope at the moment. Um, the one thing that was really weird about this week's episode was finally getting an understanding as to why some people get naked when they eat food, at least eat food around certain uh, characters, and we find out the reason is it's called something called the gifting. Um, so if I had a, a vivid imagination after I eat something and I started to talk about it and my imagination started to run wild, it's almost as if then you guys would get sucked into it. And because my imagination has whatever the heck going on in it, it happens to you in the real world. And it, I guess this whole thing being about food and getting naked because the food tastes so good that is what happens <laughs> um so yeah that that about summarizes the gifting that we learned about this week which also kind of gives this weird notion too that what's her face can do it uh god tongue supposedly can do it as well like if it really came down to it oh i just destroyed that guy um but overall, it's it's cool to see um, because, I mean, of course they're going to give it some type of understanding, if like an, some reasoning behind why that even exists, seeing how it's such a big part of the show. And now it's like, oh, this is who it came from. This is who it originated from, you can kind of say, uh, from the family that, you know, is related to the grandpa of all people who should still be the principal um guessing he should become the principal if our main people win uh maybe he won't take it up that would be another one of those things that are more in the air than actually how these food battles were playing out um because as of today or as of this week's episode something actually unexpected happened and that's what i live for in these shows like i'd rather i'd rather have something have, why can't I run? You're telling me I can't just run over there? That's dumb. I'd rather something happen that I didn't see coming than have something I call out and it happens exactly how I called it out. And to think that Yukihira is such an idiot. He's such an idiot. And was about to... He pretty much threw this whole entire match already by making a main course and pretty much just pushing the envelope so far into god tongue's hands that it doesn't even feel like he's the main character anymore like at this point it feels like god tongue has just now taken the role of main character and we're gonna see what she can do uh and we can we're gonna see if she's actually a better cook than yukihira because of this brilliant setup that i really didn't even see as a possibility but i did see it as something in the future just not now and to make uh, Yukihira even seems smarter than he actually is, you know. Um, he makes a main dish course as his appetizer. This giant caveman piece of meat. But first, the two people that went before them, the other team, the Central, they did an amazing job. Their food was great, even though uh, he kind of put out his specialty that Yukihira already tasted before. 
So it was it was like a very easy, lackluster thing that they kind of just threw at us in that instance of, oh, by the way, we're just going to show you something he's already done. Yay. Or you know what I mean? Like, that's what it kind of felt like for Yukihira. Like, he's like, oh, well, I've already seen this done. I've already seen this cook. So I guess not too many notes I need to take. I just need to be ready to beat it with whatever the heck I got. Um, not only that, he already knew about how good it should be or how good it was going to taste and how people were going to take it. So, yeah, he's been he's been waiting for these moments. I can't get a charge off, and it's so annoying like this. Look how easy that was. Look how easy that was. Let's see what happens. Another transition? Oh, snap. Let's take him back. Yo, this game is sick. <laughs> Fighting game of the year? <laughs> but with Yukihira coming out and doing all the certain things he did this week and it being dumb, it really does turn back into his favor somehow with uh, him challenging his own teammate, God Tongue, to beat his dish. Beat my main course caveman dish. And guess what? If you beat this, you will beat both of us. You beat uh, Mr perfect over there and you beat me and if you can beat me which uh i mean and this has some actual credence to it as well it's not like he's just saying it and it's not going to be true it's because the father has already admitted that it was almost on par so if it's almost on par with the other guy and she makes something much more delicious than what yukihira makes boom you win that's that's his plan at this point, which is weird as well because of the appetizer. You would think that um, you would think he would know that the appetizer should still give somewhat of a score, right? Like it should still be a part of the one-two punch of winning. And to think that he kind of just throws the appetizer away here is much better storytelling than uh, them just doing it to a T. And them working flawlessly together all of a sudden when they're like the only characters that had always and always been at each other's necks throughout the whole entire series. So to have them perfectly working together would have been kind of dumb in my opinion. But at the same time, to each their own, man. To each their own. I hit Aizen with this special every single time. I'm feeling kind of bad about it. Um, but yeah, overall, Food War definitely showed us a little bit of nuance with them doing the battle the way that they are in the case of um, actually having our two characters go against each other almost as if they're throwing everything away just to have this one-on-one -on -one fight on the grandest of scales but at the same time the same fight is going towards not just Yukihira but the other central members as well so with all that being said have an amazing one i will talk to you as soon as possible Bill, uh if not today then tomorrow but with all that being said take care and peace